Good evening, everyone. I'm Chief Juanita Holmes, the Chief of Patrol. I'm joined by Assistant Chief Judith Harrison, Borough Commander, Deputy Chief Mike Kemper, Detective Bureau, Deputy Chief Kevin Maloney, Force Investigation Division, and Deputy Inspector Terrell Anderson, Commanding Officer of the 7th Rural Precinct. The information I'm about to provide is preliminary as this investigation is ongoing in its initial stages. At approximately 6.10 p.m., uniform officers from the 7th Rural Precinct responded to multiple 911 calls for a man armed with a machete who was acting erratic, laying on the ground, damaging parked vehicles, attempting to enter one caller's front yard, and chasing people in the area with the machete. A woman who was walking her dog on Dumont was attacked by the suspect. She sustained deep cuts to her head and both hands. She was transported to Keynes County Hospital where she, was, where she is in stable condition. Her dog was also struck with the machete in the left shoulder. The dog was taken to an area clinic in stable condition. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers observed the suspect who immediately charged them while armed with the machete. Officers gave commands to drop the machete. The suspect did not comply, and one officer discharged a single round, striking the suspect in the chest. The suspect was removed to Brookdale Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The officers were taken to Kings County Hospital for observations where were not seriously injured. The investigation is ongoing and being conducted by the Force Investigation Division in conjunction with the Detective Bureau. Take a couple of questions. Any There's idea some on the talk in the neighborhood that the suspect was deliberately seeking out women. Is there any truth to that, or that has not been determined? Did he exchange so, words with his victims at all? That has not been determined. It's still an ongoing investigation. Chief, is there any relationship between the male and the female? Not to our knowledge. We've heard that the female victim lost a finger. Is that That's accurate? not true. Deep laceration to her left hand. How, how many cars did he damage in the area? I'm sorry? How many vehicles did he damage in the area? I, I noticed one, so I really, that, that's still to be determined. Is the visual known? investigation? Is the individual known to police? Is he known to police, the suspect? That's still an ongoing investigation. Chief, have, have you seen the Yes, Thank we you. do have a picture of the machete. So we have one victim, the, the female, and her dog. And her dog. No one else has a right now to be attacked or approached. That we know of, yes. We got time for one or two more? What's the condition of the suspect? How many times was he shot? In one time. In the chest? Or in the chest area. And is he expected to survive? or what's his He's been pronounced he dead. Right. Last question, Allie. Is the second police involved shooting in, in two days? Is that talking about more of a, a you know, any kind of larger pattern or trend that we see right now? No. <coughs> we, we came here this evening, and, and they were met with uh, saving this woman's life, and, and that's the action that was taken. One more question. Can you just describe what in those few seconds before the shots? Was he approaching the officers? Was he standing? What was he doing? He was approaching the officers with the machete. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.